Voyeurs out the challenge. Down the outside, Platinum Witness. Closer in is Vavasour. Further back there to Sonzi and Palace Rock getting out late. Good battle developing here. Charmont, Vavasour's kicking on the inside from Savoya. And then Platinum Witness on the inside. Vavasour, Savoya's trying hard. Vavasour, though. Vavasor wins the Group 2 Cambridge Stud, uh, Sir Tristram Phillies Classic there at Tarapa on the weekend, prepared by uh, Dawn and Peter Williams and ridden by Leith Innes, who's with us. Uh, Leith, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Dio. Gee, she's, uh, she's a really good filly, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Um, look, two starts ago, she won by six lengths, and that day at Ellerslie, she was probably untested. Um, things didn't really go to plan last start at Ellerslie in the Royal Stakes, but um, look, on Saturday... Um, Probably the five weeks before between runs, she was a little bit fresher and yeah, she jumped on the bunny and she was very strong to a line. The first time you rode her race day was, uh, I think, in that uh, twilight race at Ellerslie before Christmas. Did you know at that point how good she was? Yeah, look, I watched her as a two-year-old and I said to Peter Williams, I said, look, I'd love to ride her one day. And uh, the time came around and it was my turn and I went down to the track and rode her and she yelped super, like um, she's a serious racehorse. On Saturday, they literally had to show a fair bit of uh, fight because it looked like uh, the other horse had run straight past her. And, and once she got into it, did she sort of wobble around the corner a little bit? Yeah, she got on one rein a little bit around the bend. Yeah. And um, when Murray's horses get up to you, they normally go past you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Look, I was a little bit mindful of that, but um, to her credit, when she focused and that horse got half a length in front of her, she got down and she changed leg and she got going again. Mm. Plenty of her. Yeah, like she's she's a big girl. She'd be over 17 inches high. She's going to get better and better with time, isn't it? The, yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah. Like, um, she's like she's winning now. Exactly. And, um, like, as a four and five year old, yeah. you know, she's going to be a serious racehorse. Serious racehorse for sure. But the further she goes, you get the impression the better she'll be. She took a long time to pull up on Saturday. Yeah, look, past the post, um, I couldn't pull her up to probably about a half mile. Um, so 2,500 metres is not going to be a problem. Yeah. And you, and you mentioned five weeks between runs. She's obviously going to take plenty of improvement out of that too. Yeah, you'd think so. Um, look, she, she didn't blow after the race. Like, you wouldn't know she's had a race, that's for sure. Well, I think it shows that that race shows the advantage of um, uh, horses that can race on speed in New Zealand, for sure. Massive advantage, isn't it? You know, first three around the turn, the first three home. Um, all Murray's horses, the form he's in, all his horses go forward, they're fit, they don't race on the speed. It's very, very difficult to make up ground, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is at Tirapa sometimes, and, you know, Saturday was a classic example of that. Mm. What, about this maiden race? There, what about the maiden race that was back in Ruakaka in the, in the uh, spring of the year? Yeah, yeah. Volkstock and Barrel beats Vavasur. Yeah. Huh? yeah. You had a bit on Vavasur that day. You're a bit unlucky, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the third horse has uh, gone on to win a race, win a race as well. He won a Kenny race. Correct. Yeah. 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 So. so where will she go, I suppose? We're, we're hoping, we're, we're thinking maybe the Derby. Um. Um, yeah, at this stage, um, it looks like uh, she's going to the Derby. Um, Peter Williams and Dawn, they're very good trainers, they're not going to make the mine up straight away. But um, why is that, Lee? What, why why would you go to the Derby and take on Volkstock and Barrow instead of? Do you know? I mean, I, I think I think I, your ultimate I'm goal just, is the AJC right, Derby. Right, right. I'm just trying to so get it. So I think I think they work back from that. Yeah. And yep. it's possibly easier Better to timing, run just outside sure. of her. Where she's trained, yep. rather than a trip to Wellington. No, fair enough. Um, and then, and then Australia. I think that's so the, the ATC Derby as opposed Oaks, to the ATC Oaks. Oh, the Oaks. That will be. They work yep. back from the ATC Oaks. I think that's her ultimate goal. Yeah. Um, and uh, I would imagine the Derby fits better into the program. Yep. Our Derby. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you get the ride? Um, it was just one race at a time. I'd say Twiggy, <laughs> but I know our Derby's worth, worth more than the Oaks, so um, I'm quite happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, let's touch on uh, Sacred Star. Now I know you weren't aboard on Saturday. It's not a horse that you've been able to get on for the right races a number of times. It must be fr frustrating to see the horse go round and be and be winning Group Ones. You want to have a word to your agent? He's obviously <laughs> exactly. doing an average job, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, exactly. Hey, look, I I've ridden the horse early on um, when he came back from Chris's, and look, I know what sort of horse he is. And I said at the time he won at Tauranga, and I said, you know, Tony. I think he's a group horse, eh? And um, look, I rode him in a trial at Doombin and I said, look, if he gets in the Strabra, he could win any race this horse. He was going that good. And the way things fell at um, LZ, I won on in style. Um, I had to really stick with her for the Telegraph and look, Vinny's done a good job on her and yeah, good luck to them.
Yeah. But an outstanding racehorse, isn't he? Oh, he is. He is a very good racehorse. Yeah. And you'd be wanting Butch to get you back on somehow, rather. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that was the plan last week, but it didn't work that way. But um, <laughs> We tried. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> we tried, but, um, look, um, yeah, look, Tony Pike and Bruce Sewan and Raffles Farm, they've done a great job with him. They sure have. He's, he, he's, a, he's a terrific. And it was a great win. I spoke to Vinny at the races um, after, and I said, when did you think you had it won? He said, when I turned for home. Well, he, hey, said, he said morning of the race, when they interviewed him before the races, when he said he thought he was unbeatable. Mm. So, it was his yeah. race to lose. Yeah, of course. Um, but Group 1's, as Pikey had, had said, are, are never that easy to win, because neither they should be. The Group 1's are Group 1's, and, you know, he's, he's in the zone. He's, well, and, uh, his, and, his win in Trentham was just amazing. And to be fair to the horse, um, you know, Pikey, they've obviously uh, changed his training routine because they realise now that he's a sprinter. Instead of you know trying to stretch him out over a trip and yeah exactly so, so he, he was travelling up like he was going to win by two or three at the six hundred over two thousand exactly and exactly. he just couldn't hit the line so now we're going to see a more um, consistent sacred star aren't we because he's yeah he's, know, he's up to winning a group race in Aussie yeah for sure yeah. well look he won that race in Aussie didn't he yeah. and and then he's run fifth yeah. in the straight broke off a wide run um, he's. Uh, He's only just been beaten in that race last year. He's been beaten by the barest of margins by Viadana, who's got the dream run right up on the fence. inside. Yeah. Um, so he's there and thereabouts for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pikey's done a terrific job, and so too has has uh, has Vinny. And I think the Stradbrokes on the radar again, isn't it? Yeah, I from what so. I read in the paper, they are freshen him up and, and head across, and maybe follow a similar path to last year. I'm not sure, but you'd think so. Okay. But even like an international race like in Singapore, 1,200 metres, you know, big Remy straight could really suit plenty him. Of pace, plenty of speed on. Exactly. Yeah. But that's, and that, imagine Dardo having a, a horse in a race like that. It's at home for him, and, and to have a horse would be amazing for someone like Dardo in a race like that. For exactly. sure. All right, let's hear from the Beaten Brigade. Yeah, he uh, tried hard. Yeah, he got a nice run, and I thought he was a big chance when he came out, but the winner was just too good on the day. He's run the race of his life. Um, Jumped out, we had a good draw, we had the winner outside us uh, on straight, you know, I didn't have a lot of room and uh, I didn't have a clear run the whole way up the straight and he's still really put in, I think uh, if we had a clear run we might have been right there with the winner, you know, um, obviously finds another leg around uh, Terrapa and just shows he's up to that weight for age class. Yeah, it was a top run, you know, she's had a few hard hard runs on hard tracks, probably just taking its toll, you know, but she's honest, she deserves a big race and a little bit easy in the ground won't hurt her and um, it was a good solid effort, so... Like I say, but easy in the ground, she'll get her a big win, so it'll be good. Yeah, it wasn't a bad run. He stuck on quite well, having, having to do a little bit of work down the back, sort of having to force um, Sam over the fence to get one off, and um, they set up a bit of time, but he stuck on all right, so a little bit easier in the track would help him too. Um, he's a little bit ordinary, he was never in the race, and um, pretty much just battled up the street. Yeah, he was a disappointing in the, uh, disappointment in the race, wasn't he, at Lante? Uh, but reading the Stipes report, he had uh, cardiac arrhythmia. Mm. So He's been purchased excuse. as a stallion, hasn't he? So that may well yeah. be it with uh, for, for Atlante. Um, if, look, if Spin not, Doctor... If not, just... he has to go back to the trials before okay. he races anyway. Yeah. Uh, Spin Doctor, they just want races at Tarapa every week. Oh, I was just, just going to say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if he is a genuine weight for age horse like Rory said, or is he just a genuine weight for age horse at Tarapa? Yeah, well, he, he went super and he just goes super there. Yeah. He carried a huge weight to win one day earlier in the season, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, 60 and a half or something, yeah. yeah. Natuzzi was good back in form, wasn't he? Your, your mare, Leith, um, the Silver Eclipse, she's 1,200 metre mare? Yeah, I think so. She's probably not quite ready for ra wait for age ever. But um, look, she had a good trip and she just couldn't quite hit the line as well as she probably has been. Mm. Yeah, but in the right race, she's got tons of ability. Yeah, back to 1,200 metres, set weight, she'll be, she'll be a good chance next time. Yeah. yeah. Looking ahead for you, uh, Matter Matter, Marky Mark and the Slipper, I guess? No. No? Selfie. Selfie? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Self oh, we'll, talk, we'll talk to your manager. <laughs> no, no, Selfie. no, Marky Mark's heading to the group one, uh, Selfie oh. and the slipper. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. OK. And uh, just on sort of Selfie's stable, fast learner, you, you rode in the Juro down at uh, Wellington. Gee, it looks like a horse really yeah, on look, the up. He won really well that day. Um, it was pretty hard to come off the pace, and um, he hit the line really good. I think like a, a virtual mile or so, a race like that could really suit him. Does he give you the feel of a really good horse? Yeah, he does. He, he reminds me a lot of um, a good horse at College Train called Cog Hill. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Um, look, they're both chestnuts, as we, as we know, but he's he's taken a little bit longer to sort of learn to be a racehorse, but I think he's, his last three ones have been huge. Yeah. He was a good horse. Nice Cog Hill. Mile yeah. down in the handicaps. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yep, yeah, nice horse. All right, we'll go to uh, the sports desk. Steve Hunt is uh, with us to update us uh, on the Derby and Auckland Cup market. Steve, good evening. Good evening, Dio. Let's talk about the derby first of all. Uh, any jigs in the last uh, week or so? 
not too much DA. We're going to see a lot of these horses uh, race this Saturday in the Avondale Guineas, which is basically a mini derby. Volk stock and barrel still clearly at the top of the market at $2.50. Uh, we'll bring up that graphic shortly. And he still uh, looks to be the biggest liability for us here in Petone, uh, without a doubt. I'm just hoping one of these horses, um, on a personal note, work-wise, they can stick up their hand and be competitive against Volk, Stock and Barrel because basically the horses that have come up against them um, up to date have been well and truly beaten. And we'll see Mongolian Khan, McQueen, a few of these horses that have, haven't come up against Volk, Stock and Barrel yet in their campaign will do so. And uh, like I say, um, just hope one of these horses do st uh, step up to his ability and his class and we really see a really hot race on Saturday as we t uh, head towards a derby. But uh, probably the interesting runners have been McQueen. We had a $1,000 bet during the week at 10 now $9. And you see Vavasaur, the winner on Saturday in the Phillies race, at a $10 quote. That could be potentially a bit of value now that she potentially could be running in that derby at a $10 price. But uh, we've already had a $500 bet since that win on Saturday at that $10 price for Vavasaur. OK, what about the Auckland Cup? Yeah, the Auckland Cup, it's, it's slowly taking shape these days. Futures markets have been a bit all, bit all over the show in the last uh, couple of months. Uh, show the world, after its impressive win at Tirapa two weeks back, is at the top line of betting at a $6 price. A couple of interesting runners, uh, late nomination surpass, we can confirm, at a $7 price after running a nice fifth on Saturday at Wait for Age. And also, uh, right down the bottom there, we also saw a late nomination in Benzini, uh, just a little bit over the page at a $21 quote on the back of winning on Friday at the Wairapa Cup meeting. So they're two interesting runners who have been late nominated today. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks to be quite an open race with Show the World a $6 favourite. OK, what about hits and misses for the, uh, the last week or so? Has it been a good week for us or you? It has, yeah. It's been a very good week for punters. It's continued this flow in the last two or three weeks. A nice stat uh, for people at home is that 40% of favourites have, have rewarded punters in the last couple of weeks. Normally that's in the low 30% bracket. But a couple of well back runners um, on the premier meeting at Tirapa on Saturday, Sacred Star in the NRM Sprint, a $4,000 bet at $3.40. Some, some good shopping there to return, just a tick over 13 and a half. And then also Carlotta in a rating 85.24. A well-deserved win there for a nice mare. A thousand-dollar bet at six dollars fifty to return six and a half. So yeah, a couple of nice hits there. And the one missed. There wasn't many for us to reward here in Petoni, but Platinum Witness, who went out a close favourite in the uh, in the Sir Tristram, a five thousand-dollar bet during the week at three dollars eighty, and she just boxed on well. Whether she takes a place in the Oaks uh, remains to be seen. But we'll be bringing up that market in the coming moments. All right, uh, we'll come back to you then. Thanks, Steve. Uh, thanks, Leith, for coming in. We'll obviously be watching Vavasaur with uh, a lot of interest over the next little while. And will you get to go to Sydney w with her if she gets there? Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, fingers crossed. But um, just take one race at a time. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the, to the derby anyway. Excellent. All right, thanks for coming in. Cheers, thank you. All right, Leith Thinnis uh, with us here on uh, Way In. Still to come, we've got uh, Rory Hutchings, and we look back on some of the midweek highlights as well. Speaking of which, on Friday, Kelly Myers notched up her 500th career win with uh, success in the listed uh, Wairarapa Thoroughbred Breeders Stakes aboard the Royden Bergeson trained Tie Me Down, a mare that's now won five of seven. We're back shortly. Here comes Tie Me Down, White Car, two lengths away. And then came Spitfire Lady. Tie Me Down's gone to the top. White Car and Muzoon. Arrow in the stand and Spitfire Lady. Tie Me Down in front, down to the line, and Tie Me Down will win the Breeders. Happy idiot, waving in the 